This is good. You know what I love about this? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, God, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. It's so good. It's, oh. Look how crumbly oh. it is. Oh. It's getting worse. Honestly, look how crumbly that is. Oh. Like, the, the cookie is just, like, disintegrated. Oh, oh like man, it. what is it's that? Good. Looky food. Well, hello there. So for today, we are trying what they are calling the Alberta box. Uh, and so what this box has is a ton of different stuff from local Alberta businesses. Okay. Yeah. So this box was sold in Sobeys and or Safeway. I found it in Sobeys and I thought, what the heck, let's try it and we'll show you what's up. Okay. What's first? Okay, I think first we should try this kettle corn. Okay. It is... Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. It's called Hoodoo Snacks. It's a company called Hoodoo Snacks. Who do it? No. As I used to say, that was a bad joke alert. Okay, <laughs> sweet and salty. That's even better than sweet with a little heat. Okay. okay, I'm ready. Oh, oh. oh delicious. Oh. oh, nice and crunchy. It's okay. You don't like kettle corn. Let's start off by saying that. Chris does not like kettle corn. I'm a purist. Oh my god. I like air pop popcorn with tons of butter. Here we go Lots again. of salt. And maybe a few green onions. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm so interested. <laughs> you want to try some more? No, thank you. <laughs> okay, our next thing is called a Remarka Ball. Oh. <laughs> this is cocoa hemp. Wow. Uh, and so they're protein energy balls. Okay. I it, don't hate that at all. It looks huge on the thing, but I bet they're tiny or Yeah, something. they look really tiny. It's got 12 grams of protein. Okay. Wow. And it is vegan, soy-free, gluten-free. Well, Ooh. as soon as you see there's hemp in it, it's going to be all those things. Okay, don't, we can't bash hemp because we have hemp granola every single morning. <laughs> A ton of sesame seeds, which is amazing. And the chocolate is so good. I actually really like these. It's I, not too sweet. No, it's not. You can kind of tell they're vegan, to hmm. be honest. Uh, but... They're not bad. They're, I think for, I, I like the idea of them. I like them as a quick little energy snack. Mm -hmm. I do. I think it's a good idea. Mm. Yeah, three pieces is 12 grams of protein. And that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I have to keep these in mind. I don't usually like these types of things mm -hmm. because they're all full of dates. Bala. Yeah. And like, there's only so many dates you can bloody eat. So. Mm -hmm. Let's do a drink. Oh. Let's do the one I'm most excited about because the other ones I'm not excited about. Um, orange cream soda. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And this is from the Grizzly Paw Soda Company um, out of Canmore, Alberta. What a beautiful Canmore, Alberta. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. I like orange, but I don't like cream soda, so I hope it tastes more like orange than cream soda. Okay, here we go. Cheers. It. It's like a creamsicle. Okay. Wow, that is not at all what I was expecting it to taste like. Oh, yeah. It totally is, It's right? a creamsicle. Yeah. If they should, uh, they probably can't get away with it, but it'd be nice if they could call it an orange creamsicle soda. They nailed the flavor. Well, they called it orange cream soda. I know, but but, but they, they have orange... And then on a separate cream line, soda. they have cream soda. So you see cream soda, and I don't like cream soda. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. I didn't really think about that. If it would have said orange cream and then soda, I'd be more likely to think, oh, wait a minute, maybe they're going for a creamsicle. Uh, beautiful can. Mm. Beautiful color of both of the can and the drink. I uh, honestly feel like we'll have this several more well, times. Well, hey, I mean, I love supporting local ones. I don't really know the Grizzly Paw Soda Company. I love supporting, mm. you know, local bottlers. Uh, yeah. Fruit fresh good. with mountain water. Oh. And cane sugar. Yeah, really, really good. Oh. Yeah. This yeah. is awesome. They I nailed think, it. Yeah. They nailed it. Oh, I think Chris is going to love these. The Nutman. Oh. I love the Nutman. 
I don't know the <laughs> nut man. That's what she said. Uh, New York style mustard pretzels. That sounds really good. Okay, I don't want to get too excited. This is a substantial pretzel. Like this thing is thick. Okay, I'm trying it. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Very mustardy. Whoa. Not good. It's really good. Yeah. I would worry that most people, if they said a mustard pretzel, it'd be a pretzel with the tiniest little bit of mustard. This is just punch you in the mouth with mustard. I like not holding back. It is good. And, and yeah, the flavor is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, all around a delicious, yeah. delicious snack. What a good idea. Really good. Yeah, like put the mustard in there. Give me what I want. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, if I'm buying mustard pretzels, I like mustard. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, so the Nutman is based out of Calgary. So really fun, I love that. Okay, let's go back to some sweet. Oh, what is cocoa that? caramel alfajores? alfajores. Oh, is that some alfajores? sort of wagon wheel ripoff? I'm pretty sure the wagon wheel would have ripped this off. I'm pretty. I, I don't. Know I'm gonna it, look that up. Yeah. No, no, I'll put that on the screen. Wagon okay. wheel, I think, is pretty darn old. So. Okay, here it is. It's loaded with chocolate. Okay. Let's try it out. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Even I used to like wagon wheels as a kid. That's not a wagon wheel. Mm. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Mm -mm. Whoa. Mm. You know what I love about this? The cookie has become so soft. There's no crunch at all. It is just pure. Caramel, it's made with dolce de leche. Oh, this is good. You know what I love about this? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh god, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. It's so good. It's, oh. Look how crumbly oh. it is. Oh. It's getting worse. Honestly, look how crumbly that is. Oh. Like the, the cookie is just like disintegrated. Oh, oh like no, it. what is it's that? Good. It's good. It's good. So, it's getting worse. Okay, drink some more. Oh. The company is called Coco Caramel, uh, and they are out of Calgary, Alberta. Mmm. Oh, that was so weird. What was? Why was? Why was that so weird? Mm. It's like the weirdest chocolate I've ever had. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. It's made of dark chocolate, even. Mmm. Oh, I like these. These are so delicious. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Oh, that was so weird. Drama queen. You like Nancy? You just like all chocolate? No, this is this is especially good. Oh. Okay. Oof. All right. Uh, all right. So next is a big chief beef jerky. I love oh. big chief <laughs> beef jerky. We don't need to taste it. You've already had it. No, we do need to taste the teriyaki. Oh, okay. We have all we have usually is original. Original is the bomb. You've never you never had teriyaki? No. Oh. I never have had their teriyaki, and I'm very happy to be trying it today. Yeah. So I believe they are also based in Calgary, Alberta. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. They totally are. Okay, so let's try it out. Big Chief Beef Jerky. As I said on a recent episode, uh, this year is their 50th anniversary. Wow. Big cheap. Okay, oh. here we go. This will be good. This will take away. Oh, this will be a big change from weird chocolate. It's good. Yeah, not as good as the original. No. No, I think the original is just on a different level. Oh, so good. New finish. Really, really delicious. Still amazing. Try their beef jerky if you can. Big Chief beef jerky is the best. Yeah, I don't think it's widely available, is it? Like, it'd be available so. in Alberta for sure, but outside Alberta, I don't know. But Big Chief is, it's just the most tender beef jerky. Mm -hmm. It's extremely well made. Yeah. It's not, you never, and it's nice, nice little bite-sized squares. It's yeah. never like some big piece you're ripping at or anything. It just melts in your mouth. It's a very unique beef jerky and it is really good. Uh, I don't think I could ever like any teriyaki jerky over a regular jerky personally. That's just my thing. In but those like leather-like beef jerkies, yeah. The teriyaki. Where you're literally like having to yeah. 
Ugh, just any of those. Are oh, just... remember the one we had, our first episode, actually. Cowtown Beef Shack. Yeah, we had the jerky yeah. from there, and I really liked it. Yeah. That was delicious, so. Kinnick Kinnick Montana's Chocolate Chip Cookies. These are gluten-free. Oh. They're free from nuts, gluten, soy, dairy, and peanuts. And flavor. You won't remember this because you were pretty much passed out the whole time, but one time we went and saw Jerry Seinfeld here in Calgary, <laughs> and Martina was basically falling asleep. Were we going to Vegas the next day or something? Or No, we were getting married like the week after. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. So and I was just Martina was dead exhausted. to the world. <laughs> but I remember the opener for Jerry Seinfeld. I don't remember his name, but I remember a joke he made. He said he tried gluten-free cookies, and he said, I don't know what gluten is, but apparently the gluten is important <laughs> and so we're gonna see we'll tell you if, if it's important or important. not here all right cheers. cheers better than i was expecting yes. once i learned what they were mm -hmm. worse than i was expecting based on purely the picture yeah but they're yeah you're right they're not as bad as i expected them to be and i was just waiting for that weird flavor to come in you yeah, know the one not... that you get from that i think these would probably be the best gluten-free sugar-free gluten-free every milk-free dairy-free all that they're actually quite good Cookies. you know what in fairness the yeah. only thing though i think if it had gluten you could get that real soft mm. chocolate chip cookie feel and that's what that's missing because it kind of crumbles and it kind of yeah. is a little bit harder like that so there the gluten is really missing, but when it comes to the flavor in light of no nuts and no soy, no, no dairy and on all that stuff, yeah. they did a really good job. Really, really yeah. good job. So uh, in terms of flavor, fantastic, actually. This is one of the best everything free things I've probably ever had. I just, yeah. I would prefer a chocolate chip cookie that was really soft, that's all. Well. For someone who is actually celiac, this is a great option. It really is, actually. Yeah. Like, this is an amazing option. Yeah. All those people with actual celiac disease, because so many people were into gluten-free, they, like, a ton of companies created all these new things, and I, I really think that's probably the best thing that came out of it. Yeah. This is Wild Tea Kombucha. Oh, no. Root beer with ginger flavor with stevia nothing nothing about this like it's literally okay kombucha i hate root beer i don't mind ginger i don't mind stevia i hate like nothing about this is gonna be pleasant <sighs> thank you alberta box for finally giving me something that martina is dreading like i do almost every episode something but i'm not a big fan of kombucha either although i do like stevia so and i do like root beer a lot remember i read a book one time who was it by? Gordon Corman or something? And one of the characters was named Root Beer Racinet. Anyway. Also, that's what Ricky from Trailer Park Boys would probably call it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is light. That is a light root beer. Oh, look how foamy it is. Oh, man. Oh, oh nice. Okay, are you going to try it first or me? It smells like mothballs. <laughs> okay, it's like, is that what, is that what, hold on, can I smell it first? It mm -hmm. smells like, um, Listerine or something. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. You're cheating. <laughs> Give that to me. I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ugh. Oh, why? Now you know what I felt like after that stupid fake wagon wheel thing. Oh. Mm. oh. That's like a mix of vinegar and root beer and ginger. And it froze your brain there, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> like, put, like paused Martina. You know, like those circles. <laughs> Buffering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was buffering there for a sec. Ooh. Okay. Enjoy. I'm actually not that scared, but it smells like not good stuff. Yeah. It reminds me of something. What's that smell? Next, we're going to have something that you hate as well. So. I think I'm smelling the ginger. There's ginger in it? Yeah. 
Oh, wait, I'm smelling the ginger. That's what it is. Okay. okay. Here we go. You like ginger, though, don't you? I love ginger. Okay. I don't see how that's root beer in any way. Oh, wait, I got a, just a little touch of it. No, so this sucks. <laughs> I'm uh, glad I'm not the only one. Well, obviously, it doesn't bother me nearly as much as you. It's fine. Like, I could drink it, but it's... If I knew it was super healthy, I would consider drinking it. Well, isn't kombucha supposed to be like good for your gut health? Maybe. But that's what probiotics are for. Yeah, we take those. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure who that's or for. Or yogurt. I'd rather eat yogurt any day before drinking this. It's better than the fake wagon wheels. This is the cutest little thing in here. It's called Fluffy Vanilla Marshmallow Bite. It's dipped in milk chocolate and it's on a stick and it's got sprinkles. Do you want to try it first or shall I? I will. I just got to get I got so much stuff in my mouth now. I just got to. Hmm. Did you hear that? Hmm. All right. Just. Oh, actually. It's, a, it's marshmallow amazing. covered in chocolate. It's what you'd expect. It's yeah. fine. It's what you expect. The marshmallow is really nice, actually. It's nice and chewy and fresh. It's not hard at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's very sweet. It is. I don't really think that I love marshmallows until I have one, and I'm like, why don't I have marshmallows more? <laughs> <laughs> Our next drink is called Bar. 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 Ooh, and it's got Alberta, but with the German flag on as their logo, I guess. It's brewed in Turner Valley. It's non-alcoholic beer. It's got point zero point five percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. So cool. Martina will be drunk in like three sips. Ah. I really like that crack. Do you? Don't let anyone hear you say that. <laughs> I just, I just heard it. <laughs> I just heard it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pardon me while I pour better. Oh, I didn't see that. I was just gonna do that. <laughs> I was totally just gonna do that. We're not big beer fans here. We are definitely not. This, like, even if this was amazing, we're probably not gonna like it too much, so. No. There is absolutely nothing pleasant about that beer. And it tastes like metal. Okay. It's bitter. It's... Oof. Bad. It's bad. Yeah, you know, in fairness, it doesn't help that we've just been eating a bunch of sugar. That's like the worst thing we could had before that. But we're just not beer drinkers. I don't care, beer drinker or not. That is not good. Our next thing is coconut brittle. Ooh. Mm. Coconut brittle. Handmade candy with soul. It's from a company called Wheatsmith. Wheatsmith. Candy, candy Company. Co. It's gluten-free, egg-free, soy-free, dairy-free, and vegan. Wow, Alberta's really hopping on the train here. Yeah. This is out of Strathmore, Alberta. Pretty cool. Okay, here, this is what it looks like. Coconut brittle? Yeah, instead of peanut. Promising. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. I couldn't have like any more than that piece though, but the crunch is amazing. It, it's got like that good crunch where the pieces just like crumble in your mouth in a good way. Mm -hmm. The coconut flavor is like mm -hmm. out of this world. It's got wow. coconut pieces in it. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. And I mean, other than peanut brittle. I've never really tasted anything like it, but it doesn't really remind me of peanut brittle at the same time. Yeah, and that peanut brittle, I find, like, you could just break your teeth on it anytime mm -hmm. I've ever had it. This is, like, this is nice and, s it's not soft per se, but it's, like I said, when you bite into it, it, like, mm. crumbles nicely. Oh, yeah, and then you can just really suck the flavor out when you, when it kind of decomposes, when it deconstructs in your mouth. Yeah. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big sweet fan, but that is really well done. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, look, it says lick, crumble, crunch, munch, melt in your mouth. Yeah. It definitely does. Mm. Yeah. Good job. This is a good one. It gets better and better, too, just the way it just, like... Yeah. It's like... Ah. Really, really good. We've got one more energy bar. 
Holy moly, I'm gonna have so much energy. Woo. This is from a company called Peak Eats. It's a quinoa peak bar. It's handcrafted in the Canadian Rockies. Once again, gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free. And this is out of X Shaw, Alberta. Good texture. <laughs> You're struggling a little bit. This is the bad type of energy bar to me. It's really close to being good though. Oh God, no. No? Oh, that ending? Oh, that's horrific. What an ending. Oh, that's really bad. Really bad. It feels, I don't know, it almost tasted like, you know, you're having a dessert and there's some garden peas in it or something. Like it just felt like there's something that doesn't quite match, but. I, I honestly think they should not have made that a chocolate. That probably would have tasted better a vanilla flavor. Yeah, or honey or something yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice to see you hating a couple things. I was just going to say, it's nice. It, you probably love to see me struggle to eat. Yeah, there hasn't been oh, other. No, there was the fake wagon wheel, which I hated and you didn't. Other than that, uh, I've liked everything that you disliked, at least better than you did. All right. Our second last thing is honey. It is from a company called Drizzle. This is raw white honey. Mm hmm. Um, and they are based out of Calgary, Alberta. Chris is the honey lover of this uh, duo. Especially creamed honey. So this is raw white honey. Is that basically creamed honey? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Oh. That's delicious. That's exceptional honey. You can't go wrong. With, how do you go wrong? Well, you can go wrong with honey if you have that weird dark kind that you can get somewhere. This is good honey. Well, it, I, I expected nothing less. I don't, I don't see how you'd have raw white honey not be amazing, honestly. Well, mm. I'm sure there's some. Mm. That's nice. This is really good. This makes me want to have like, you should wake up tomorrow, have a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Mm -hmm. I've only just discovered peanut butter and honey. And if you've not tried it yet, please try it. For the love of God, please try it and have it with raisin <clears throat> toast. I've been having that for 35 years. Never. Just a... Like four or five years ago is when I discovered it at your mom and dad's and things like that. Yeah, it's classic. Really good honey. Try it out. It's a beautiful packaging yeah, too. Yeah, looks really nice. We're combining a couple of drinks that we have. Um, <clears throat> the first is uh, called Rock. This is Rock, uh, Sparkling Rock Glacier Spring Water. Uh, and this is obviously from the uh, Rocky Mountains, so yay Rocky Mountains. Uh, and yeah, it's just sparkling water. And we are going to combine it with this, and this is Dream Soda. It's cream soda syrup with real vanilla and vitamin C. Okay. Pretty cool. This is from a company called Schneider's. <laughs> Not, I don't think the same Schneider's. Probably not. Uh, oh, and it is from uh, Crow's Nest Pass, Alberta. Okay. So mix a ratio of one to nine with carbonated water. How's this water? Weird. Doesn't taste like just plain club soda, really. But anyway, okay, let's try it, it with it. It doesn't taste like anything. So yeah, it's really nice packaging as well. It looks really, really good. <clears throat> And uh, like everything else, it is made in Alberta. So. And what's it supposed to taste like? Uh, cream soda. <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah. Okay. This would probably be really good to make into um, popsicles or something. We'll see. Cheers. I don't know how it's supposed to work. Like, is it supposed to be really sweet? Are we supposed to put enough so that it is sweet? Yeah, our ratios might be off. I, I can taste the cream soda. You know, I think they did a good job of it. I can I think maybe we're supposed to have a little more in, but I just don't like cream soda, so I'm not gonna like it, so. Yeah, the vanilla tastes awesome. They do have other flavors. Uh, maybe let's try adding like a tiny bit more. Yeah, I think it definitely needs more. I don't know that it's necessarily supposed to be like completely sweet, like normal cream soda. I, I would like to try another flavor and see, but yeah, cream yeah. soda is not my thing. That's so. a really good idea, though, to maybe we can try another couple other flavors. That'd be really good. Sure. All right. Okay, so that is everything. Let's see, what's our favorite thing? I, 
I don't like to pick a sweet thing, but that coconut brittle was quite good. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the honey was spectacular. Mustard pretzel is really cool, and those... If you need to have gluten-free cookies, that's probably as good as it gets at this point. Yeah. So, uh, other good things too. That are uh, not homemade, obviously. Yeah, uh, like the orange creamsicle soda and the fake wagon wheel was for Twisted Weirdos, present company excluded. You're awesome. What did you like? I liked the fake wagon wheel. Please don't say that was your favorite thing. In it the was whole box. So delicious. Okay. I won't make it my favorite thing. I think these were actually my favorite. Wow. Thing. These are so surprising. I love everything about them. Cocoa, I love. Hemp is awesome. I love sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds. But these were just a surprise. Like something that is actually healthy and could be a really good snack and everything tasted that good. Like that's a surprise to me. These types of things don't usually taste that good. So this I think has to be my biggest surprise. Um, I, I also really like this. I think I'm gonna have to do like a tie. No. Let's do it a tie. No. <laughs> they are so I can't good. say anything because I've done so many ties on this show, but boy, out They're, of all they these were things, so good. Like the honey. The honey was awesome, but the honey's honey, honey. That's funny. This is so like. I don't know what it was about it. It just all worked for me. I don't know what it was either. It would honestly, like, it, it was insanely chocolatey, but it all worked for me. Like, this this thing, try it, have it, eat it. Honestly, go out and try it, and please tell us what you think. I'd like to actually see if other human beings like this. <laughs> um, And, okay, like, these New York style pretzels, amazing. They're cool. This is the best. I love this. This I really is a really good box. box. Yeah, and yeah. It, it was really nice. What did it say here? Support local, enjoy local. Yeah. And that is, of course, more important than ever, even though the pandemic is pretty much over. Uh, it's still a great thing to do. I, I think we should look up some of these companies and check them out. Like, yeah. I don't care for sweet stuff, but man, I kind of want to see more from Sweet Smith Candy Company. Yeah, I do wonder I really if they've do. got like a shop. That'd be interesting to go through Strathmore. Yeah. Um, and visit. I'd, I'd actually be quite interested in that, or even some online things. We might do a little haul and uh, and share what we find from this company. Yeah, really it was cool. Impressive. Really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us on this journey through Alberta, and we will see you next time. Bye.